All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're looking at five green inventions slash a green discovery that are helping to reduce pollution and plastic waste around the planet. So the first invention that we're going to look at here is the bio-urban robotic trees. And what these are are they're metal trees that are made from recycled metal that contain little cylinders inside of them that are filled to the brim with a special kind of algae. And these algae can replace up to 400 to 500 regular trees per one of these, you know, robotic looking trees that you set inside of a city. And what they do is they cycle oxygen through this algae container and it allows them to capture the carbon and carbon dioxide from the air and then photosynthesize and turn it into regular old oxygen. Now, this is good for a couple of reasons. We're not looking to replace regular traditional trees, but in really densely populated urban areas where there's not necessarily a lot of room for a park, you can help to improve the air quality by putting some of these bio-urban robotic trees around. That way they can help clean the air they kind of look cool, almost like a modern art installation, and you can set them with other trees so that you don't need quite so much vegetation to get that air cleaning effect. The next invention that we're gonna look at is a biodegradable compostable water bottle that you can actually eat. And these little pods that look almost like little droplets of water are a water bottle known as Uho, which is created by a startup out of London called Skipping Rocks Lab. And they've developed this new translucent edible packaging from seaweed that grows really fast inside of tanks in the lab, making it a very environmentally friendly alternative to something like plastic. Because not only can you eat it, you can just chuck it on the ground and it'll very quickly dissolve or disintegrate and break down in the environment, which makes it very easy to compost or just biodegrade naturally. This was actually featured a few years ago at the London Marathon, and it was handed out to runners as a quick way to hydrate, because all you have to do is grab one of these water droplet shaped pods, pop it in your mouth, either crunch it and spit out the container or just swallow it, and then you'll get that hydration automatically. And then, one might think, well, if this is so easy to compost and dissolve, how do they keep the liquids inside of these little pods? And the simple answer is, using the natural substances to create these pods, they actually have a hydrophobic layer on the inside, which keeps them from dissolving from the inside out. Meaning you can store these for a pretty decent amount of time before they start to naturally break down on their own. So the kind of the goal or the theme here has been to reduce waste or pollution on the planet. And the next company and the next product does that by replacing your cutlery with something that's not only com compostable and biodegradable, but you can also eat it as well. And that is the Shark Tank company, uh, Incredible, which is spelled like edible, but incredible. You kind of get what we're going for here. So this is a nature-based, eco-friendly solution to plastic cutlery that was featured on Shark Tank, where they proposed a line of edible spoons, and now there's spoons and forks that are low-calorie, compostable, and also edible, and flavored in a variety of different flavors so that they'll go with pretty much any food that you want to eat with them. And these were invented by an Indian engineer who moved to the United States and was looking for an eco-friendly solution to help with plastic waste around the planet and pretty much instantaneously got funded by one of the sharks on that program and is now available from $10 to $12 on places like Amazon online. And when you buy one of these packages, you get 20 spoons or 20 sporks, depending on what you're looking for, and they come in a wide variety of flavors like vanilla, chocolate, peppermint, and a few others that are available on their website. 
And they very specifically state in several places that they are in fact low calorie. So if you're on a diet that specifically tells you to stay away from high calorie spoons and cutlery, well, you you can eat these without any without any problems, especially if you're like, I don't know, on the paleo diet. There's someone out there who's just like, man, if I eat three or four more spoons, like I'm, my diet is just toast for the week. For the next invention that we're going to look at, we're going to be looking at biodegradable edible condiment packaging, which is a more recent development in the research and creation of the Uho water bottle made by the exact same London-based startup that developed that technology. And what this is doing is it's using that substance called Notpla. It's derived from seaweed. And instead of just using it to create water bottles, they've actually developed a better internal layer, a hydrophobic layer, that allows them to store other foodstuffs that might be a little bit rougher on biodegradable packaging, like ketchup, mustard, Honestly, any type of liquidy food stuff that you might want to store in a plastic or hybrid wrapper can now be stored in an easy to transport biodegradable pod, just like the Uho water bottle. And just like that same water bottle, the way that they store it so that it can ship and not biodegrade on its own inside of the box is the internal layer of the packaging has a hydrophobic layer that doesn't interact with liquids so that it doesn't dissolve itself from the inside out but you can still eat it it's still compostable and it'll still break down within a few weeks if it's left out in the elements so that it doesn't cause a huge buildup of plastic waste and then the final discovery i can't really say invention because nothing's been invented here is scientists up in Canada uh, at the Brandon University in Manitoba, Canada, discovered that there is a variety of waxworm that is capable of breaking down and eating various common types of plastic, styrofoam, and other artificial chemical-based building materials. And they do this by using a special type of microbe in their guts that help to break the chemicals down into glycol, which the worms can then metabolize. And this on its head seems really cool, and you're like, oh cool, we'll just like breed a bunch of these worms and save the planet, but not quite. Because wax worms, not only can you not just stick them in the ocean where you'd want them to eat all of that plastic floating around, but they're also a pest to things like bees, which we need in order to grow food and sustain the environment. They are trying to isolate what microbes in their guts are responsible for breaking down the plastics and try to breed these various microbes into something that can allow us to easily and cost effectively break down the chemicals in most plastics into something that we could use either as fertilizer or bioorganic fuel, something along those lines that's a little bit more friendly to the planet than just letting a bunch of plastic sift around in the ocean. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a look at five inventions slash one uh, discoveries that have been beneficial at improving the reduction of pollution on the planet, being more environmentally friendly, and just in general trying to make things on the planet a little bit less toxic for all of us to live and enjoy. If you're curious about any of these products, I'll put some more information about each of them in the video description below. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we've got some more environmentally friendly videos and other educational programming coming up in the not too distant future. Bye everybody and have a good one.